Well, we got some nice coon here. Uh, first one to check four. We set some fresh ground yesterday, so I'm really hoping that pays off. The weather this morning is overcast. It's starting to spit rain already. It's gonna get wet later, so kind of hustling, trying to keep what fur I can dry. But we got a nice little hole to get him back to the truck, so it's gonna be a nice foot and a half. But get him taken care of. Get down the road, guys. You said pretty. I thought you meant we really had a pretty one. That's just a mud ball. They're not all nice and clean, guys. Especially by the end of the day, uh, with this weather front coming through, we're gonna be wet. Uh, it's gonna be a bunch of wet fur. I'm trying to get to that that clean, that good part of my line that we just set yesterday. Uh, get that ran, get that stuff dropped off in the shop, so I can keep it dry, fluffy, not have to mess with it. But no matter what, we're gonna be getting wet here for long. I like this. This is that 220 location, that trail that. I said really developed, so we had to fence in pretty good yesterday. Uh, got some really nice coon here. We got a good buddy Tim riding with me today. He does a bunch of animal damage control work. He likes to ride along from time to time. So it's kind of nice to have uh, someone riding along with you, not just to help with, but just to talk to. Um, kind of nice. Is this rain? This rain's gonna come through and want to knock a lot of stuff down. So we're really gonna have to beef some stuff up. I think I'll catch another. We got us a double here on that nice trail going to corn that we set late yesterday afternoon. We got one hanging out in the culvert here. And uh, one up here, nice high and dry. So nice coon, nice overcast morning. I wish it'd stay like this all day, but it's gonna get wet. There we go, nice coon. They're starting to deteriorate already. Starting to rain a little earlier than they said, but uh, just nice coon coming off a cedar tree. Um, kind of a, a pasture lot here. So go across the road to corn. <clears throat> Same thing over and over, guys. Well, we got another nice one here. Uh, still on the new part of the line. We got probably, oh, a dozen or so in the back. So that makes me feel good, you know. Getting some fresh ground out. Uh, this weather front coming through. Hopefully tonight's another good night too, but we're still stacking them. That's for, for damn sure. Uh, this is a pretty coon. Uh, they got that really nice gray, black guard hairs. Uh, not a whole lot of red or yellow tint to them. These are the type of coon we're looking for. When the market's good, these are the ones that are going to be worth more money. Right now, the way the market is, none of them are really worth a whole lot of money, but uh, definitely want colors like this. If you're going to sell anything, that's going to be your, your best bet. All right, guys, we got a nice double here uh, on my, my new section I set yesterday. They're wet and they're muddy, but at this point in the day, we can't be picky. It's just get the coon, get them loaded in the truck, and keep moving. Uh, we're all going to be wet and miserable by the end of this, but nice coon we got a nice tube here going to corn just a nice mature timber over here it's repetition guys same locations timber going to corn timber to timber find the high points the low points the power poles the cedar trees anything that stands out to you on that road if you're in coon country there's gonna be a coon trail next to it so get them taken care of get down the road guys i filmed this spot yesterday uh talking about a nice 220 trail going the other side we got some nice coon over here On the other side, we got some nice, nice Pepe Le Pew with some really nice stripes. I'll go ahead and get him taken out here on this side. I don't even think he's sprayed, so my wife won't be completely upset at me when I get home, but. Okay, maybe he did a little bit. <laughs> it seems like these 220s with skunks, um, 
kind of a 50 50 uh, i think it all depends on where it where it hits them but sometimes we'll spray a little bit we'll still be able to get quite a bit of essence out of them uh, i had a lot of requests actually off of day one asking me if i'm going to do a skunk essence removal video and skinning them i do plan to do that here in the next couple days uh, as soon as this as soon as i get some time guys uh you know i i'm kind of burning the candle on both ends here so as soon as i get some time things slow down i'm gonna do a skunk video uh how i extract the essence i'm by no means an expert at it there's a lot of a lot of people that are a lot better at it than me but uh I'll, i'm happy to help out and show you how i would do it anyway we're gonna we're gonna straighten them up a little bit here kind of Sorry guys, this, I got a uh, water protective deal on the GoPro today and it's got a weird angle on it I don't really care for, but um, anyway, that rain and moisture is really going to knock grass down. But I like that, hopefully get another nice skunk tomorrow. Alright guys, so we're wrapping up the uh, what I always call the first segment. We got done with our new piece, which we did really, really well on. Uh, but as soon as we got to the old part of the line, it's just, it dropped off drastically. So, uh, depending on how the weather goes, if it keeps holding out, I might try and get some more stuff set this afternoon. But they're talking some pretty, pretty nasty amount of rain. But uh, once again, got traps a little too close together. Uh, definitely greedy, greedy things. Uh, I've had people talk to me before about Coon getting dog proof shy. Uh, they, you know, they catch on to what those traps are. In my opinion, anyway, I don't think that's a thing. Uh, I catch a lot of coon when I get traps too close together in two traps. You know, if you just got caught in one trap, I would think you would automatically know what the other one is if you could comprehend what's going on, if that makes sense. So as far as them getting shy to dog proofs, I don't personally believe it, but that's just my thoughts on it, guys. Uh, you know, if you're willing to get caught once and then within a few seconds later get caught again, clearly you you can't comprehend what's going on. But we'll get him taken care of and uh, move on down the road here, guys. Oh, this is four for four, guys, at this location. Uh, that's very impressive. Uh, just shows, you know, you get on these right trails. Uh, oh, <laughs> Whew, branch just smacked me upside the head, but just a phenomenal location uh, I can't I can't even explain it really it's just a nice uh, timber to timber location with corn on the outskirts of it and the trail is really defined on the other side and this is kind of just piece going up through here but four for four on it uh, just really nice coon nice trail I wish everything you know produced like this I'd be I'd be over a thousand coon probably by tomorrow but I just don't work that way. We got our first quad catch of the season, I believe. Uh, down here inside the tube, he's hiding now. But we got a coon down here, a possum over here. And on the other side of the road, we got two possums. Not quite the the quad catch I was hoping for, but oh well, kind of cool. At least we're still catching fur. All right, guys, here we are. Uh, this is the first coon we've caught on this. Normally, this is always a producer of four or five good coon for me. This is day four, and it's the first one, so kind of shocked by that. You know, it's just, it is what it is. You can't always predict things. These trails look really, really good, but sometimes, even though they look really, really good, you know, they don't, they don't produce, so. Anyway, guys, we're gonna get him taken care of and move down the road 
looks like the weather is going to hold off for us to run this. It's not going to get really nasty until after dark tonight. Hopefully it rains hard enough at first and then lets off enough that they're going to run hard after that. Uh, I'm kind of hoping on that anyway, but who knows? Time to tell. Yeah, just caught one really nice coon. Now we got a, a double on banks here. Just cutting up across here to there's a pond and corn beyond it. Uh, just a nice location. Glad to be catching coon, but man, I wish they had a little better size to them. But always tomorrow. This segment of the line is definitely picking up. We've gone five for five now. We released a couple dinks here, but man, that's good to see fur again. It's been kind of slow this morning, other than my new piece. So love seeing that. Absolutely love seeing that. This nice timber draw with corn going to corn on the other side. You can see the really, really nice to find trail coming down here. Really nice location. This is six for six on a four day old line. Hell yeah, that is just, that's almost unheard of for me. Uh, that's, that's just awesome. I can't tell you how excited I am. I love catching these suckers. You guys know of this spot. We filmed this several times here. Uh, a nice, nice double here today. Nice double. Always happy to see two at a time, but just going up here to cut corn, guys. Just about went down there and joined him. Yeah. This guy wallowed out a nice hole for us here, fellas. This was just a little hole, and I was kind of nervous about how, if I caught one, I'd be able to pull him out of it, but he broke it down pretty good. We got, the other side of this is actually beans this year, so it's not a, a big producer for me, but you know, I'll take two or three coon off it, but when that's corn, this is going to be one of my six, seven, eight coon locations for sure. So uh, just because it is going to beans, sometimes those trails, they're still using them, but they're almost don't quote me on this but almost never as good as if they're going to corn at least here in the midwest so get to take care of you down the road you know they're a big coon when they just look like a little beach ball with limbs on them down here uh, definitely definitely a, a toad of a coon here just going up to cornfield on the other side of the road we got a pasture and a fence line coming down uh, it's that simple guys but it's right at noon right now, uh, probably three quarters way through the line. The rain's held off, knock on wood, but we're moving right through. It's nice overcast, weather's nice. Still a little warm, about 54 degrees. I'm ready for that to cool down, but this line's producing a lot better than I thought. Uh, the old line, even though we start off pretty slow with it, it's really picking up and I'm, I'm really happy about that. I need some good numbers today. Same story. Nice, nice big coon going right underneath the cedar tree. You can even see the trail right behind him here. Really, really nice coon. Got some really nice coon here in 220. Uh, the line is really picking up this afternoon. Really getting me pumped up, excited for what's to come. Uh, you know, as of yesterday, I was pretty discouraged about how my the first part of my line was running, but now it's just it's game on. We battled a little bit of rain here as we're driving here. It actually pretty much just downpoured for a solid two or three minutes uh, going from the last segment to this segment. But luckily we didn't have to get out in it too much. Uh, looks like that rain's a good chance for another half hour or so, give or take. Yeah, brass stretcher's still right there. I still don't know how they do that. But anyway, got rain chances still for a little while, but then it's supposed to be good for the next two hours so kind of hoping to get these ran get back home before we get soaked get all this fur uh, in the shop out of the weather uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get out today or not yet but man I like, like we had a double here yesterday as well if I remember right uh, two of them getting tangled up together but Kind of a smaller pair here, but just the the tube going through up to a kind of a old cattle lot here behind us and another pond. So another nice, nice location, nice draw that they're coming up. It's hard to tell now, but nice little trail they're coming up through here. So. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. That's right, you're a good boy. You gotta love those high bank trails, guys. You know, this is a, a nice little creek system. Matter of fact, I actually do some private land trapping, do some beaver work back in there and stuff. But uh, these nice high land trails, your big boars are almost always running. 
as well as if if I was not you know I'm about 150 yards from my house if I was 200 yards out we'd be throwing some snares on this trying to catch some coyotes as well just a really really nice trail going right over the top of this creek system I am definitely pumped up about today uh, this is the we've had several locations that I caught the first animal on today on day four uh, this is just a nice little trail with corn going behind me the only factor here is this tree that is the only land marker pretty much anywhere around on this entire road system uh, for at least several hundred yards in both directions so all it takes is that one lone factor that stands out guys if you're in dune country and you got crops around you best be looking well we just started the last segment of our line here it's about 130 i believe what i saw uh, so far weather still holding off for us still just a really nice overcast slight breeze slight mist i'm good with that i'd love for that to do this all night long i really think that would make some awesome movement again so get him taken care of and uh get this line finished up we've we've got a box of, for, of fur right now she is loaded i didn't drop off because i didn't think we'd have to the way it started off but we are loaded down got us another really nice big coon here you can see the trail going up this is literally just two fence lines guys uh two fence lines when it's corn over here it's even better but it's beans this year but i will say this we are loaded for bear we are having one hell of a good day all right guys last coon of the day here i'm not sure our total yet but man we killed it today uh that fresh stuff i think we got roughly 25 coon off of which was awesome and then my old line just it, it kicked butt too really really good day we're gonna get everything at home take care of and uh see what we end with all right guys so we came home and we had 72 in back the truck uh that's the most i've ever had in back my truck at any one time and a lot of these are absolute pigs some are kind of small but a lot of these are it was a really good run on size today i'm very very happy with it uh 72 you know i'm not back on track but but it's definitely heading the right direction. Gonna get these guys inside the shop before it starts raining. We lucked out, no rain at all on us, uh, but it's gonna start soon. So get these guys taken care of and uh, I might even try to set a few more before the rain hits, but we'll see how much time there is.